<laughs> I'm telling you, if you do that, you are terrible. If you do that, you are very terrible. Yes. Because so, what if you are that person's only go-to person? You cut me loose and set me free. <laughs> Welcome to Time Out with Praise. My name is Praise Shagai, your amazing and beautiful host with the sauce, vibe, ginger, and everything. Welcome to episode 5, season 2. And like you can see, I have an amazing guest with me today. She is my cousin and also my big sister. So we would be talking to you about how to get over a breakup or how to take yourself out of that state of being in, in a bad relationship. So, um, I don't know now because I'm a Yoruba girl, so it's Star Jumoke, but then her name is Jumoke Leskeru. Hey, Star Jumoke, introduce hi. yourself. Okay, hi. Hi, everybody. My name is Leskeru Adejumoke Caroline. I'm from Lagos State. I live in Lagos State. I studied at the University of Port Harcourt. I'm an entrepreneur. I have my own business. I'm into fashion retail. I'm, into, I'm a personal shopper. I do everything fashion and I'm on the road to creating my own brand. Wow. Yes. Did you get that? Big name. <laughs> That's a big name you're saying there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's dive in. Then I'll talk about the topic again. The topic is how to move on from a bad relationship. So many people are in bad relationships. They don't know how to get out. And they feel like, oh, this is, well, I thought this person was going to be my last bus stop. But what if that person isn't and you need to step out? Because you need to leave that bad relationship to get into the one that God has designed for you. Okay, so we will just be talking about um, what a bad relationship is because somebody is there asking how did I how would I even know if it's a bad relationship so um, I believe first of all I like to state that relationships are beautiful it's always nice to be in a relationship mm. you know it's great to have somebody to talk to somebody that you share part of yourself with yeah. and when you're in a good relationship you should know that you're meant to be happy you know, definitely there'll be conflict in the future. Yeah. No, in the in the relationship, relationship but yeah. there's always more of the good times mm. than the bad. Now, how do you identify that you're in a bad relationship? When you have a relationship that there's no trust. Mm. When you have a relationship that does not make you happy. Mm. There's always conflict. Your level of stress is all, you're always stressed. Mm. You're always unhappy. You cannot focus on yourself. You can't mm. focus on your business on things that you that you normally do. Where the person is um, aggressive, you, the relationship is, is abusive. And when I mean abuse, it doesn't necessarily have to be physical. Yeah. It could be emotional abuse. Mm. Someone that is always talking down on you, mm. talking down at you, does not. And when you're in a relationship that is always that is one-sided, I believe it's also bad. Mm. Because it's, I believe it's all, all about give and take. Mm -hmm. It's not always, it can't always be taken, 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 yeah. or given, given, given. It has to be two ways because yeah. there are two people in this relationship. Yeah. So you have to be able to give and then up, um, also be able to take, take from the relationship. Yeah. It doesn't have to be monetary. There are mm. different things you get from a relationship. You get comfort, you get um, ideas, mm. you someone that can help you build yourself. So, yeah, so, yeah. so I'm just because I'm in that place of because you said when there's conflict. Mm -hmm. So does it mean that once you start having conflict with this person, it's a bad relationship? No, there's when there's no per, there's no perfect relationship. Mm. You will always have things that you always have conflict mm -hmm. in relationships. You will always have or when it's too much, mm -hmm. when it's constant. When there's when every time there's a conflict, there's always stress. Like it's always repeatedly. 
you know, because at the end of the day, relationship is supposed to be a good thing. Yeah. So why do I have to always have problem in the relationship? Why is it that we don't have, we don't um, settle on things or differences mm. every time? Why is it that we cannot come and compromise about situations? Mm. Why must we fight about it all the time? And it is always fights. That means you guys don't understand each other. And I don't. And if you guys cannot learn to understand each other, I believe that then it's not meant to work. Mm. Then you guys are meant to separate. That's very true. And um, why I feel like this um, topic is becoming personal to me is because I feel like most times we are in that place where we think, okay, there's no big deal if we fight. But then, like she said, when it's becoming too frequent, yes. like you can't go a day without fighting, fighting with this person. There's you something wrong. One fight, you're getting yeah. into another there one. something wrong. You know, there are different factors mm. that... You know, makes that you, that different factors that come in and you just know that this relationship is bad. Right. Do you understand? And also another thing is when you you always have to run to other people for things happening in your relationship. Mm -hmm. When you get you guys cannot come together as two people mm -hmm. and sort out your issues. You're calling this person, you're calling that person, you're running, you're calling your friends, they're giving you. You know, so I think it doesn't it doesn't. I think like one of the um, most annoying things about when you're in a relationship and two persons cannot settle i feel like it's so like it makes you because me i'm always saying it as an individual i've always grown up to be that person that i feel like i can sort myself out yeah. and when i have issues with my siblings at home they're always the ones that report they will be the ones to report I will not talk. It's when they are reported to me. It always seems like, oh, she's the wrong one. She's the cause of everything. And then I have to explain myself. That's when they realize that, oh, I didn't. Most, most times, do you know that to everybody, the first person that reports is always the right person. It's always the right person. And I'm like, and it's, it's not, not true. always true. Like, it's not true. So if both of us are in a relationship and when I do one thing, we run and that reports. Report like, 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 I'm just make like, any sense. Ah, and the, for, for how long will you report? Yeah, because first of all, when you're in a relationship, a relationship is about, to, is, is for two adults. Mm. They are, you guys are both matured. You yeah. are not children. You're not kids. Yeah. So you should be able to solve your problem because, you know, so when you guys are having a good times, you report. Mm -hmm. When you guys are having a good time, you report. Mm -hmm. When you guys are traveling together, you report. Mm -hmm. When you guys are oh, do, 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 you report. Like but when there's an issue, issue, when, when you're you getting gifts, you, you, you report. report. Yes. You report. But when there is an issue, the first thing you do, and I think that is so immature, when you have those kind of those choices, I don't think that the relationship is going to work because mm -hmm. every single thing, people and. It's supposed to be separate, it's supposed to be between between the two of yes, you. Yes, absolutely. And another thing about um, talking to people, I always believe that even if you have to talk to somebody, you should be a professional. Mm. You should be a professional. Somebody that tells you, that's not going to Bias, judge the both of you, be biased, yeah. biased will give you good counsel. Mm. You get? Because everybody, every single person, if you come and put something to me, you don't know where I'm coming from. You don't yeah. know my belief, my yeah. uh, my thoughts. You don't know. You know, I come from Your a different background. background. Yeah, yeah, my experiences. Mm -hmm. So I will judge you. I will give you advice based on that. Oh, but you, as a human being, you're a unique, unique person. Mm -hmm. The two of you in a relationship, two of you are unique. Mm -hmm. The relationship you have, I don't have. I probably would have never had it, or I have had it, or will have it in the future. Yeah. So I can't really understand. Mm -hmm. I can't give you a good advice, but I'll give you advice based on based what on, I've yes. been through. Yes. It doesn't necessarily mean what's what you, you guys are going through. Yes. Do you understand? We are different people from different backgrounds. You have different belief system. Yeah. You have the, your 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 um some your people ideology. are Christian, some yeah. people are Muslim. So you guys come from different yeah. backgrounds. You really, even Christian, there are different kind of Christians. Yes, they are. Yes, Do you understand? Yeah. And you believe the system is different from different. might be different Absolutely. from mine. And then one thing I always say is that people's lives will never go the same way no somebody would come and say oh this is what happened to me this is what i did when yes. that happened yes. if you automatically go with that person's 
oh because when she did this this was what happened and it worked for her if you do it it might not work for you so that's why i always tell people when you go to people for advice even my mom and my parents know they always like you if i go to you for advice i'm still going to pick what i think would work for me because that's where some people miss it when you believe that oh well, because it works for, for be, her now for so then you go and because the person said ah this is what i did when we quarreled i did this 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 and mm. then we settled and it became fine and then you do that and it becomes worse mm. so in as much as sometimes we go to people like she said i think it's the best thing is to seek professional help but if you can't afford it or you just don't have it around you and you need to speak to um, people around you then whatever they say still decide what you want to do yeah. don't always believe that because this works for this person it will work for you like she said beliefs ideology and even experiences mm -hmm. are different. Your so background yes. where you grew up from is different. It's different. different person from so you person. cannot say because this works for A, it will work for, for B. B. Yes. It certainly doesn't work like that. So then again, I just wanted to know, like, like, how do you move on from a bad relationship? Because now we have realized that oh my god, this relationship is bad. Um, we are always fighting. We are, he doesn't agree with me. He speaks. He speaks down on me. I'm um, emotionally damaged. Mm -hmm. So many things, and you're like, okay, this is a bad relationship. How do we move on from it? Because I've heard people say that. I know. I know. I'm not meant to be in this relationship. But if you stop, like, how do you move on? <laughs> First, you need to admit to yourself that you're in a bad relationship. Mm -hmm. Because everybody can tell you the relationship mm -hmm. you're in is bad and you're not seeing it. Yeah. You have to admit to yourself that, first of all, this relationship I'm in is bad. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you have to love yourself. You have mm -hmm. to love yourself and put Very yourself true. first. Because even in the Bible, God says, love your neighbor as yourself. So, so it yeah. is the love that you have for yourself that you divert to your neighbor. Divert to your neighbor. So when you love yourself, when you, okay, let me give you an instance. You buy this phone or you buy a car. Mm -hmm. You love it, right? Yes. You see that you do everything not to damage the car, mm -hmm. not to put this, this car. When you, you won't buy a bad phone because you know if you get bad bad phone, it will damage the car. Yeah. If you buy bad this, it will damage the car. That's how you have to do it with, with yourself too. So if you love yourself, you know that you being in a bad relationship is bad for you. Mm. You get off that relationship. It's not easy. It takes time. Mm. It takes a lot of, um, you know, sometimes you have to write it down. Mm. You have to write what you're getting from the relationship and what you're losing from this relationship. Mm. You have to visualize it yourself. Yeah. It's not about you thinking about it. Sometimes you actually have to see it. That. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, you know, you have to know all those things and you have to be very prayerful. Mm -hmm. Because it's the matter of the mind. It's yeah. not on your it's not physical that you can yeah. get a doctor to just heal you of it. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of the mind. So you need God. You need your belief system. I don't know what it is. It's, yeah. If you're a Christian, you go you know, you have to do Christian things. Yeah. If you're Muslim, you have to do Muslim things. Do you understand? So you have to talk to God, tell God to heal you, to give you the strength yeah. to move out of it. Mm -hmm. Then you have to have good support system. Mm -hmm. It could be Absolutely. your friends, yeah. it could be your family. You have to have good support system, people that will not judge you. Mm -hmm. You know, because yeah, I, I'm, in a terrible, yeah, I'm in a terrible relationship. I can see I'm in a terrible relationship, mm -hmm. but you're not in this relationship with me. Mm -hmm. You don't know what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. You don't know what damage I've been through. Yeah. You, don't, you know, so you need someone that would that will support you, that will mm. judge you, that will say, are you, are you something wrong with you? Can't you see that person is not good mm. for you? Uh, I know, but, no, you know, yeah. someone that will say, you know, I know, I know what you're going through. Yeah. I understand what you're going through. Sure. You know, we will help you out of it. Yeah. You, get, you have to have a good support system. You have to, like I said, you have to love yourself. You have a good support system. You talk to God. Yeah. Maybe there's nothing impossible for him to do, so he will help you out of that. And um, what else? What else? What else? And um, do things, do things that make you happy. Yeah. Do things that make you happy. Because um, what really um, got to me is having the support system. Yes. I feel like sometimes when if you if you have somebody that's really important to you, yeah. and you see the person in a terrible relationship, 
sometimes it's always very difficult to let them know because then you can see that in as much as the, you know this relationship is horrible for them but you see a side of them that wants it yeah so it's always difficult for you to tell them that this relationship is bad can you come out and then there are some times that you don't even talk about it because you don't want them, them to, to feel, feel bad. bad but later on the person might, might now come to you and be like oh I just um, said I'm no longer interested in the relationship, mm -hmm. and then you are almost shouting, "Thank God!" <laughs> like finally, and the person is like, "What's like, what what going about? on?" And you're like, "No, no, no, no! I'm just, <laughs> I just, I just want you to be happy." Yeah. What? Whereas you are taught about it, and this support system too is really important because why most people get out of terrible relationships and go into the dark place in those passions is because. Yeah. They don't have anyone to talk, talk to. to. So no, it's not about even having someone to talk to. You can talk to anyone. Yeah. You can call your mom up on the phone and talk to her. Yeah. But I will she respond yeah. to what you're going through. So when I say support system, somebody that will not judge you, okay. that will understand you, that will help you, advise you. Not advise you to say, oh, you know, you have to know, mm -hmm. but in a, in a subtle way. Yeah. You know, someone that you know is not because if I if I know I'm gonna call you and you're going to judge me, I probably won't no, just call you. Of course not. I won't. I won't of course not. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's why most times it looks like people don't have support system. Because I was telling somebody, I said yes, I have a lot of people around me, but mm -hmm. there are very few that I can actually talk to and tell them how I feel without them mm -hmm. maybe without them saying things that would get me angry exactly. at the end of the day. So if you don't, if you have few people like that, and it's just so difficult sometimes, especially mm -hmm. someone like me. Um, one of my huge support system used to be one of my friends, and then he died last year. Mm -hmm. And then sorry, after he died, I just I was just in that place of I can't tell anybody how I feel anymore because then. He was just my go-to person that I could always say, this is how I feel. And I could tell him everything in details, like 100%, and I know it's just going to be there. So in as much as um, people are really scared to tell others how they okay. feel, because they feel like, oh, is it that you judge them, or you end up saying something that will offend them. I feel like, as we are saying it now, you shouldn't be that person no, you shouldn't that will judge others when they judge come people. to you to explain that this is how I feel. Oh, I'm going through a breakup. And you are like saying, eh, are you the first to go to break up? What's eh, there? Didn't he uh -huh. go? Get out of these. Some people, are, some some people are parents who do that. Some are siblings, some are friends. You hear some parents. That's, somebody was joking. There's a joke I saw online that Nigerian parents, they will see you going to break up. Go and wash plates. Are you the first? Like they don't really care how that person feels in that point in, at that point in time. Or there are some friends that like if you tell them, eh, eh, kini, kini, and, yeah, I've broken up with my boyfriend. That's the part that they will tell other people about yeah. your experience. Uh -huh. Those as in, if you are somebody like that, you are terrible. I'm telling you, <laughs> if you do that, you are terrible. If you do that, you are very terrible. Yes. Because so, what if you are that person's only go-to person? What if? And what if you are the only person that person goes to to tell that this is what is wrong with me, and mm -hmm. then you go around telling their stuff? Do you know they will never come back to you? Yes. And if that person goes into depression because they have nobody to talk to, you are guilty of that. You are guilty. Very. So, just like, I feel like you should be you should be people's go-to persons. It should not be everybody. Not everybody can take you like that. But if somebody has found out that you are their confidant, please be their confidant. And be there to support them if they are going through a breakup, even life issues in general. In general, because you never know. I remember when I lost my friend I was talking yes. about. And that whole week was scattered for me. I couldn't go to work. Thank God where I was working, they allowed me because yes. they knew that, oh, this is not praise. Mm -hmm. So they were just like, praise, take your time, take your time, breathe in. Everybody, nobody could even send me work to work. I wasn't going to do everything. I wasn't myself. And then um, I, I was, my parents, they were just there calling me every day because they were not with me. And I just felt really loved because... They were calling and saying, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Hope you have eaten mm -hmm. every day. Not saying that, oh, is it? Because I had a friend who told me that at the end of the day, this person is not even related to, to you. you. And you are doing as if the world has crumbled. 
That's and so I was just like, but you don't know the relationship we yeah. had because it was it was more like my elder brother. That was mm -hmm. the this the gap between us was older than me with ten years. Wow. But we could relate on this that basis level. of praise what's going on, this is it is and I tell him and then you're not telling me I don't have a right to feel that the way, way that because I we are not related by blood. It's just ignorant. It's just ignorant. So if you keep doing that when somebody comes out of a breakup or something the person would not be able to come to you. The person might not be able to talk to anybody. And there was a time my sister just looks at me and is like, you hardly talk, like you hardly say that. Most of the time you are talking, you are talking about life in general. Like you hardly talk about oh, your yeah. own self. Like, mm -hmm. are you okay? Do you need to see a therapist? And I'm just like, I'm okay. It's just that, most of the time I just feel like, maybe I don't need to say everything mm -hmm. wrong with me. Yeah. And she's just like, just know I'm always here. And I'm like, okay. I have That's somebody nice. I can talk to. Mm -hmm. But there is not everybody that has the opportunity I have. So if somebody confides in you, please let them do it and don't make them look foolish for doing it. No, they shouldn't. So then again, I just wanted to find out what are the activities you think people can do to when you leave in a relationship? Yeah. When you are just um, coming out of a breakup. What are the activities that you think people can do? Like, okay, maybe you want to go to the beach, you want to go, yeah, you want to do this. Um, what do you think people can do? Because, let me know, like, oh, I feel like when you come out of breakup, it's the worst period of your life. I'm joking, basically. <laughs> but then I feel like, oh, if you are this person, you used to go out every time, both of you used to um, watch a movie, uh, both of you, like, if your life is already Plant around some this person. How do you? And all of a sudden, you now have to do those things alone. Yeah, no. Like, would you just say, okay, before we used to go to the, okay, maybe I should stop going anywhere. Let me just sit in the house for a period. And that's worse. Let me cry. Let me cry very well. Let me be sad. Like, what can we do then? First thing first, when you get to another a bad relationship, you have to express yourself. As much as you want. If you want to cry, just cry it out. Mm. Cry it out. Let it out. Let it go. And secondly, you have to know, you have to understand what are the things you used to do before you got into that relationship? Mm. Things that make you happy. While you were single, do you like to go for dinner? Then go with your friends or your family, even for somebody to go with. Mm. Do you like to go see the movies? Then you should do that. You know, because there are no manuals to these things so. at all. <laughs> there are no books yeah. written about it and tell you, okay, there are only guide people can only give you guidance. Mm. So you have to first of all you have to understand yourself and know what are the things that makes me happy. Is it listening to music? Is it reading the Bible? Mm. Is it reading books? Then you should go online and listen to a lot of ebooks and you know, you just have to you have to know I can't tell you what to do. Yeah. You know, but you have to know yourself first and know things that make you happy. Like mm. I for example, I like to listen to music, it's like always my go to thing. Mm. Like when I'm in a bad place, I listen to some kind of music to just get me out of it. It doesn't necessarily have to be Christian music. When it's Christian, if I feel if my spirit is not getting towards Christian, I go to a Christian. Mm -hmm. If it's other kind of music, I go to it. It helps me. It, those those things helps me. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I like to listen to ebooks. Mm. It doesn't have to necessarily be about relationship because oh no, when I'm in a, when I'm out of a relationship, I don't like listening to those things. Those uh, motivational speakers. Oh, uh, um, Get yourself up. No, no, no. I do not like that. <laughs> I don't, I don't like that at all. I don't like to yeah. see them, but I like to listen to and um, um, listen to other things, listen yeah. to people's life, yeah. listen to history. I like to watch movies. Yeah. I like to do that. I like to go on walks. I like to, you know, you know, I like to do things that. Um, but it doesn't have to necessarily be, you know, because there's some places you you really wouldn't want to go alone. Mm. Trust me. Imagine you have to beat you and walk him down. Uh, no, like, it's so <laughs> sad. It's so sad. It's not bringing it so sad, honestly. Yeah, Bad I'm thinking, memories. I'm actually thinking of doing one. Then again, I'm like, what's my... I would do it. I'm like, I would do it. I'll just be dear. I'm not oh, thinking oh, about my life. <laughs> When you have people that you can go with, trust yeah, me, you see that you'll be, you'll be amazed that you there are people that would love to do those things yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah. So you have to just know what what are the things that makes me happy. What are mm. things that are going to help me out of this? Yeah. If you have to delete everything on your phone that reminds you of the person, do that. Mm -hmm. If you if you have to write things down and open a journal, I also mm -hmm. do that. I have like a notepad mm -hmm. on my phone. Well, when I'm going through bad times, yeah. I just write, write them out. Yeah. I write them out because um, 
I think this is a way of me just pouring it out. Yes. Yes, I just write them out from my book. I didn't, I never go back to them and read, mm. and read them. I never do. But I just well, write them out. Yes, it that, helps you. Yes, it helps me. It relieves me of that pain I'm going through. You know. So, but there are no manos to these things. And no mano. If there is, people will be in good relationship all sure. the time. Sure. Sure. You know, That's people will know how to get out of. Ah, yeah. You know. Bad relationships. Again. Thank you so things. much. Thank I you. have actually enjoyed this discussion because I have learnt myself. I have learnt. So when you are in that place, don't go and start like crying, staying indoors. No. Maybe you stop doing activities and everybody's calling you. Because oh, those and things, that's one yes. thing. And that's another thing that actually gets people. Because mm. sometimes I'm trying to forget, mm. and somebody just brings this up, brings okay. that thing up, or just sees you with it. It's okay? wrong. It's the insensitive yeah. around the time. Because are you okay? Ah. Apart from clean, are, are you okay? Are you okay? Is even it's better. Yeah, but they were like, oh. Uh, what about this person? Like, why, why are you asking me? Like, you, 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 you're not know, trying to get you know out of this, this, and you're and you're asking you know, me. Are like, you trying you to be know. insensitive? Yeah, yeah, I so, yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much thank because so much I have really me. enjoyed this discussion and I have Same learned. Here. So I really appreciate it. And we should have you again. Of course, yes. anytime, anytime. Okay, so, so I'll just quickly do a quick game. Okay. So it is um you just choose what you would rather have. Okay. I'll just list some items okay. and you say okay um. Uh, it's something like this now sausage or meat pie so you pick the one you want okay okay so let's go right. dogs or cats um i think i'll go with dogs dogs yes okay. <laughs> i don't like any i don't like any okay <laughs> diamonds or gold that's pretty tricky okay yeah that's pretty tricky but i think I'll go with diamonds. Diamonds. Because okay. they're loud. <laughs> okay. Okay, so um vintage or new? Vintage vintage. 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 Yes. Okay, so um would you rather I don't know if to ask because you're already with the lipstick. <laughs> lip gloss or lipstick? Lip gloss. Really? Lip gloss. Oh, so she just did this red and today. Yes, lip gloss, so you can okay. always catch me on yes. the lip gloss. Okay, so would you um rather um have Nigerian food or Chinese food? I like to try new things, okay. you know, so if I, and I've tried almost all Nigerian food, I okay. think I'd like to go with Chinese. Okay. Okay. I love my Nigerian food, because I like to try new Chinese. things. Okay, me, yeah, I don't like Chinese. <laughs> I can't eat this with Nigerian food. Just give my Nigerian food. Let me go and eat jelly. Okay, so would you rather a private um, proposal or a public one? Um, I like private. But I would like to have people that I love around yeah. and I'm being proposed to. Okay. Somebody the information <laughs> is for you. Yeah. Okay. Um I think we would also have this topic some other time because it's actually a broad topic. Yeah. Seeing this thing, what is going on now that yeah, they'll propose somebody in the stadium and person that says no. <laughs> okay. But also any, yeah, yeah, what I still believe it when it comes to this um proposal, I think somebody who made an effort. effort yeah. But then again, you can't just go and say yes because somebody made an effort. No. What if you know the person? You know the person, person. You know the person that others don't know. Okay, then um, would you rather have a small, like a private wedding, just close friends and family, or a big party like oh one bear, one one thousand five hundred guests <laughs> wedding? Private. Private. Yeah, very private. When I look at when I. Um, think about my wedding. It's always like in a in a very small space, oh, yeah. but with so different nice. a lot of food. Yeah. Very intimate. Yeah. You can be just in with Your somebody. Friends. There's not so much loud no, music. Yeah. We can all be on the dance floor and dance. Just something very cozy. Yeah, that's that's what I see. Wow! I'm so um, excited for this episode. Thank you, thank you, thank so, you so much, much for our queen for taking our time to um, to have this episode with me because okay. she's my cousin. I dragged her here. <laughs> okay. well, it's always a pleasure. Yeah, Trust me, I enjoyed so myself. Much. Thank you. Thank okay, you. so I'll just like to talk to you about branded items. Okay. Like you can see, I'm wearing the face cap. We have the bucket cap. We have the t-shirt, and we have the hoodie. So please go and purchase it because ah yeah. uh ah. -uh, Purchase now, yes, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe, be cool. Uh, like, drop a comment, tell us what you think about this topic. Somebody is watching, somebody might just 
want to say what you would say. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's, it's what you would say that will motivate somebody <laughs> out of that bad relationship. Okay, mm-hmm. thank you so much. And um, if you want to... Um, if you want to contact us on social media, on Instagram t- at Time Out with Praise, on Twitter at Time Out with P, on Facebook Time Out with Praise, and if you would like to send us an, um, a mail for sponsorship, advert, or whatever, maybe you want to be a guest on our show, or you have a topic idea you want us to um, talk about, send us a mail at Time Out with Praise. Not at all. <laughs> Time out with praise at gmail.com. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. Thank Bye. you for listening. Bye.